Hey, what's up guys? I hope everybody's doing well today. I wanted to make a video today because uh, today is kind of a special day. That being said, I probably won't be able to upload this until tomorrow. Uh, but like I said, today is kind of a special day because season two of Umbrella Academy released on Netflix today. Uh, even though I did have the afternoon off work, uh, I've only uh, had the time to watch the first episode so far. First episode was actually pretty good. It seems that uh, there was some character development that probably went on between the end of the first and the uh, beginning of the second season, which I'm sure they're going to fill in uh, throughout the series. I actually don't want to talk too, too much about what happens because I really don't want to spoil it for anyone. For anyone who's unaware of uh, Umbrella Academy, it is a comic book uh, published by Dark Horse Comics. It was written by the lead singer of My Chemical Romance. Personally, I've only uh, read volumes one and two. I think there's three volumes of the comic uh, so far released, and I'm pretty sure they're working on a fourth volume of the comic. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure. So I started with the comic um, it was really uh, during a time when I was looking for something that wasn't necessarily uh, in the mainstream genre and funny enough I actually had no idea uh, originally that they were turning uh, the book into a series for Netflix I think I found out I don't know two three days uh, I saw a preview for it about two three days before the actual release of season one didn't really have to wait very long for it to actually come out. And I was extremely impressed with season one. So it's a great show, you should check it out uh, if you're into the comic book genre or if you're really just looking for maybe something that's a little bit different. It definitely does not uh, follow the blueprint of your classic um, superhero kind of comic or, or series. The actors uh, that have been cast uh, for this show are just amazing. Everybody does a fantastic job. The highlights, in my opinion, are Aiden Gallagher, who plays number five, aka The Kid. I've seen him on a few other things, nothing that comes right to the top of my head right now, but he is a pretty good actor for a kid, and he plays number five exquisitely. Halifax's own Ellen Page is in this series. She plays the character Vanya. Uh, which is uh, one of the uh, Umbrella Academy members. Honestly, I mean, I, re I feel I can't say enough good things about Ellen Page. I love that she's not just Canadian, uh, but from my little province of Nova Scotia. And I, I just love to see her um, get work. She's an amazing actress. And I, I just, I like to see her getting work. I like to see her working in Hollywood. And I like to see her in stuff that I already want to watch because she is very talented and she nails every role I've ever seen her play. And my final character highlight, who is probably my favorite character in the entire Netflix series, not so much the comic, I was more of a Diego guy when I first got into the comic, but at the same time, I think maybe uh, that was a time in my life when um, I was attracted or drawn to like a different style of character. Diego's a very hard nose, kind of almost like a Batman character. But in the series, Klaus, hands down. Klaus is amazing. He's played by Robert Sheehan. Uh, if you don't know who that is, he is an amazing, amazing actor. Um, I think he's Scottish, maybe British. I'm not 100% sure. He's definitely from the UK. Originally, I learned of him uh, from the BBC series, The Misfits. Uh, which originally released in 2009. He did the first two seasons. Uh, he is hands down my favorite character uh, of the two seasons that he's in in that show. He's just amazing. He's an amazingly funny actor. If you get a chance to check out not even Umbrella Academy, but pretty much anything this guy's in, um, you'll laugh your ass off. He has amazing comedic timing. I mean, I understand that there's probably some pretty good writers working with him, but he just, he just makes a character so good, so good. And I can't wait to see the rest of season two at this point. And I really wanna see uh, where they go with all of the characters, obviously, but I really wanna see where Klaus goes because I'm just very much looking forward to see Robert just in his absolute prime and just doing what he's amazing at. So if you haven't gotten into the series, you, you should definitely check it out. 100% I recommend it. And I mean, if you have watched season one, this is your, you know, heads up. Season two is out, go and enjoy it. The next thing I wanna talk about, I, I wasn't even really sure I wanted to talk about it to be 
100% honest. It's not really something I normally do on my channel, um, but there's a Halifax-based gaming company called 902 Games. The last post that they posted on Instagram I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm being triggered or, you know, maybe I'm misinterpreting the post, but the post really looks like uh, 902 Games is cheering on Donald Trump, who is essentially a wannabe authoritarian dictator uh, for sending more troops into Portland uh, to quell these mostly peaceful protesters. And I just, I don't understand why anybody especially anybody outside of the United States, thinks that this guy is doing anything good for anybody. And secondly, why they would post something on their company site on Instagram, essentially cheering him on for something so blatantly unconstitutional. I mean, really, all, the only thing I have to say about it is 902 Games, it's a bad look. So the final thing I really wanted to talk about today is Tim Horton's camp bracelets are out. Um, I'm not sure how long they've been out. I bought one of each. They're two bucks each. All the proceeds go to Tim Horton's children's camp. It's a great thing. I actually know a few people who's, whose kids have gone and um, it's just an amazing experience for these kids. And all the kids that go are, you know, kids who normally wouldn't get to have a camp experience. Um, it's just a great charity. I think Tim Horton's Children's Camp is just a, an amazing thing and I will support them as long as I can. So go and get your uh, Tim Horton's uh, camp bracelets. Uh, show some love to Tim Horton. Show a little support to these kids. And uh, yeah, other than that, just take care of yourselves and yeah. Peace. I'm outie.